Hey, good evening. I would like to talk about modernizing SML, a C++ 03 code base from about 15 years ago up to C++ 17. If you're not familiar, it is a library that's predominantly used for like interactive programs. Um, it's largely used for video games. If you want a good uh, introduction on it, one of the maintainers, Lucas, has a great talk from Meeting C++ in 2018 that you can look at. There's a lot of like real games that are made with this, like real production games that you can buy today. Um, they look like that. There's even Vittorio's Open Hexagon at the bottom. If you're interested, you should go check it out. There are also much less aesthetic looking games that I have made. You can also check them out. They are free. I will sell them to you for nothing. I would just love a star on GitHub if you're so kind. Getting started is really easy because it is a cross-platform library and because we're using CMake, it just takes a few lines of CMake and a few lines of C++ and you can get started. There's a link to a starter project which you can, uh, that you can clone on GitHub, and you can get going in just a few minutes. So for the migration, there were plenty of features for us to choose from, going all the way from 03 to 17. There's countless things that we can use, and I'll skip some of the obvious ones, like null pointer or override. The things that I really enjoyed using were the file system library. I feel like that's not talked about enough, but that was really great. So now um, there's lots of places where you're dealing with loading assets, textures, images, shaders. All of those APIs now use the file system API. Not only is that great for users who get the more expressive API of file system, but it also means that on the implementation, things like getting the file extension is a lot easier. So just for the API and the implementation, there's a real win there. Optional is great for APIs that had previously took, a, um, an they took an out parameter and returned a Boolean. Now we can just return an optional from there to give us the perfect semantics for reflecting APIs that may return a result but may not. Um, array, memory headers, those are great for what I think are probably obvious reasons. Uh, Chrono, in our case, we kept our custom duration type, but we were able to make it implicitly convertible to and from durations. So if you're using SFML3, which is the upcoming release that will have all of these C++17 features, you'll get effortless transitions between the um, built-in SF time type and the Chrono types, which you may already be using in your own code base. The thread header was really useful. There were threading primitives for threads, mutexes, and locks, and those got removed. And this are now replaced with the standard equivalents. Um, there's also polyfills in the uh, standard integer header for the fixed width integers that were uh, just recently removed. And that was great. Um, the attributes have been really helpful. Uh, I love notice guard. I would love for us to use notice guard even more. Um, move semantics have been great. That's still a work in progress. Um, and additional other, other um, changes that were just um, made possible due to the major version change. So why upgrade if you're already using it? Well, is the only C++ multimedia library that I think has a significant user base, short of like proper professional game engines. And certainly I would say it is the only modern C++ multimedia library. The API is even more expressive, the types are even stronger. There's more you can do at compile time with additional types that were converted into ConstExpr. Um, and some of the core types that have been around for a while have just been made even better. If you want to get involved, there's a number of things that we could really use help on. Um, there's just more places that we could be using C++17. Um, there's a lot of build system things we could do. There's things with rendering APIs, uh, move semantics, the C bindings. There's a C sharp and uh, Rust bindings that are very popular that all result that, that all depend on the C bind uh, the, the C bindings that I would love help on. Um, unit testing for the graphics is very difficult, and that would be um, much appreciated. And I think I even have time for a live demo. Will it work? Yes. And this is what it looks like. So this is a Matterport viewer that I actually originally wrote at CVPCon last year, just sitting in the back of this very room. So it's cool that I finally get to show it to everybody about a year later. Um, but this is a great example of the kind of stuff you can do. This is totally cross-platform. It'll build and run on any OS. Um, if you can't tell, I'm just controlling it with the keyboard right now. And you can zoom in and look at pretty pictures, all, thank to, all thanks to SFML. Thank you.